Am I the asshole for ruining a whole family vacation and making it about me? I see a lot of posts on here about free childcare, so I thought you guys could help me out with this. The problem started when I, now 17 female, was 12 and my aunt had her first kid. A year after her kid was born I went to a family gathering. For some reason completely unknown to me everyone wordlessly agreed that I was the most competent person to take care of the baby. I was stuck with it for the whole event. I thought it was over with until a few years later after my other aunt and cousin had babies it was again wordlessly decided that I am the babysitter. This became routine for any family gathering. There are several issues with this. 1. I do not like kids. I don't enjoy watching them and not a single part of being around them appeals to me. 2. There are four kids now. They are 5, 4, 3, and 2. That's a lot to handle. Dot. 3. Their parents are firm believers in not telling them the word no. This means that if one of the kids is beating the others with a stick I can't say, no, don't do that, I have to say crap like, well that's not very nice, which is about as effective as it sounds. 4. Can I just add that I have an older brother, 19, and a cousin who's my age, 17 male, that have never had to deal with the kids. Dot. When I was 15 I first tried to protest having to watch the kids by simply refusing to chase them around and take care of them. I got screamed at by my aunts when one of them got hurt even though I wasn't even in the room with them. Last week my family planned a weekend getaway all together and I was dreading it. I went along with it anyway and as soon as I got there the kids were shoved in my face. I didn't even get to set my bags on the floor and they were already in my care. So I looked my family in the face, said, screw this, grabbed my book, and sat on the beach. Alone. It was bliss. When I got back my aunts were exhausted from watching their own children. They said something along the lines of, oh thank god you're back we thought we'd have to skip dinner. I asked why they would have to skip dinner and they told me they scheduled to dine in a fancy restaurant and the kids weren't allowed to come with them. This means I watch them. The exact words I said were, listen I'm here to enjoy myself and that really doesn't include watching the younger ones all day so that you guys can relax. If that's going to be a problem I can leave. They had to cancel their reservation and order food in. Everyone is pissed at me because they were all hungry and had to wait an extra hour for the takeout to get there. Which is funny because I was the only one staying back with the kids and they didn't even consider what we would have eaten. But anyway my whole family, except parents and brother there on my side, is saying I'm an ass because I ruined all their plans with my, hissy fit. So, should I have waited until after vacation to make an issue of it? Am I the asshole for essentially making everyone stay in the room for the rest of the week? Edit. Thank you for all the support and ideas, I really appreciate it. I answered a few questions in the comments but I thought I'd add this in. 1. My parents were also the primary caretakers of their younger siblings' cousins. They see it as normal, and I did mention to them it made me uncomfortable to watch the kids but they thought I was, venting. 2. They never paid me or offered to pay me. On several occasions they have left me alone with the kids, didn't tell me just left, and I have had to pay out of my own pocket to feed them. 3. Thought you guys would find this funny. Caught my aunts trying to sneak off to the beach this morning while everyone else was asleep including their kids. I told them I was also leaving the house and had plans today and got in my car. They miraculously decided not to have a beach day after that. Not the asshole. it's not because you're a better babysitter, it's because you're a girl. Good on you for standing up for yourself. Not the asshole. you were calm and not being a dick about it. They never asked you to watch the kids. I'm glad your immediate family is on your side. Good job setting a boundary because you don't deserve the bullshit. Not the asshole parents should have had your back from the start and put some stops or even limits in place. Not the asshole. It's your vacation too. You need to relax. Also, you weren't even consulted before it was decided that you would babysit all the kids, all the time, for free. Just you. Not any of your cousins, not the adults, just you. Also, correct B if in wrong, but you were 12 when you were first forced to watch a baby, alone, and with no help. That seems extremely irresponsible, especially considering you were barely old enough to not have your own babysitter. Personally, I think you should head over to our, entitled parents. I bet you've got some great stories for that sub. Edit, typo. Not the asshole. Your aunt is the asshole for treating you like a second mother. 
You're being singled out because your aunt thinks that boys can't care for children. Don't allow your aunt to bully you into helping her with her mistakes. She put the effort into making all those kids she can care for all of them. You can get her into trouble if she attempts to leave them with you because you can state that you aren't watching them. She can get in trouble for child abandonment. Not the asshole. If you can, I'd tell them, I am not your free childcare. If you want me to babysit your kids, I need at least 48 hours notice, and I charge 10, kid per hour. That's my friends and family rate. Not the asshole. It's not cool for everyone to assume you have no problem watching the kids. They should have made reservations for a kid-friendly restaurant and everyone should have gone and spent time together. They made the vacation about them and you responded out of years of frustration. They aren't your kids and quite frankly, their parenting style is ineffective. Almost seems like they didn't want kids in the first place. Not the asshole. Your aunt should be hiring a babysitter if they want time away from their kids. Your parents might be the best people to talk to about this, they'll have leverage with your aunts that you probably won't. Edit. Aunts, not aunt. Not the asshole. Screw those entitled buttholes. They didn't even offer to pay you. You have no responsibility to watch their rugrats. Tell them from now on you will not be available to babysit without advance requests and you will be paid $10 an hour per child. See how they like that. Info. I have to ask again and this is the burning question in a lot of comments. Where were your parents in all of this? Dot. Being from the East myself, wondering if this is expected in your culture? I legit turned down going on a Disney cruise with my entire family, like 20 plus people deep, because my cousins were like 6 and and I was 16. Writing was on the wall. They made jokes, well if we don't like the child care Anna's there, and I know ped the fuck out. I'd rather suffer through high school than play on Disney Island watching your kids. Not the asshole. Definitely not the asshole, you shouldn't be expected to take care of their children. Not the asshole and your parents seriously dropped the ball by not sticking up for you as the adults. When I hit 10 I was obsessed with babysitting, BSC inspired of course, and my mom actually intervened after seeing me wrangle all the kids a few times even though I was naively willing and explained that while it was okay to play with the kids for a while if I wanted to, I was here to enjoy myself too, not be the default caregiver. It was one of the few times she put me over family members so I always took it as a significant lesson that generally, parents should take care of their own kids. Not the asshole. If they don't want to take care of their children when on vacation, then they pay someone to look after them. You're on vacation too. Not the asshole. They shouldn't assume you will be willing to take care of the kids for free just because you're a teenage girl. If anything, they should have asked you beforehand if it would be okay, and offered you money for your time. Not the asshole. Why didn't your parents say anything when almost everyone was being a dick to you? Not the asshole just because you have ovaries doesn't mean you are a babysitter. Also you did not make everyone stay in the room all weekend. They had assumed that family vacation somehow meant a vacation for everyone, except you. They could have had one adult or set of parents stay back and watch the kids. They could have agreed to ask the teens to take turns being paid to watch the under 12 spawn. But instead, they all figured they could somehow have a vacation from their own families at your expense. You did nothing except very politely let them know that their kids are gasp. Not your responsibility. I lolled at essentially making everyone stay in the room for the rest of the week. Do these people not know how to parent at all? Did any of them actually want kids? They in no way had to stay inside for the whole vacation, but parenting is about planning things your kids will enjoy and taking them with you, not dropping them on somebody else's slightly older kid with no activities planned, no food provided, no pay and also without asking you. Why on earth has nobody considered that this is your holiday too? I would have been pissed that I wasn't invited to the fancy dinner, let alone being an unpaid babysitter. Not the asshole and good for you for sticking up for yourself but, where tf were your parents for all this? I have a 13 years old I barely trust with my hot dog, let alone a bunch of kids. If your parents were on your side, why didn't they say anything for their daughter? But either way big not the asshole eta I say I wouldn't trust him with my hot dog because I asked him to hold my damn hot dog at a fair for one minute and he dropped it, like within 10 seconds lol. 
Info Why are your parents not helping you? Why are you the stand-in babysitting service while on vacation, and who would ever expect a teenager do this twice, or several times? Simply say no, every single time they push the kids and you. Ah casual sexism. So systemic people don't even think about why and what they're doing. It's a scourge. Good on you for standing up to it. Not the asshole. Not the asshole and don't kid yourself. Your parents aren't on your side. They let this all happen. Not the asshole. My wife is a professional early child educator, and even she is not expected to take care of four preschoolers by herself for extended periods of time, and she gets a living wage and benefits to do it when it does happen. Ratio doesn't even allow more than five kids per person. They should be paying you about 700, 1000 a week for the service. Even though it's family, they are exploiting your labor. Well done asserting yourself so respectfully, it shows a lot of integrity and appreciation for the health of your family. Your aunts should treat you to a day out, doing whatever you want while they stay home and look after the tykes. I think this is an obvious not the asshole. Not the asshole. But real question, why were your parents okay with this for years? I'm sorry if I sound like an asshole here, but they shouldn't be having kids if they are not prepared to manage them. Managing their children while they rest is not your job, and even if they do make it your job, they should pay you for it, or at least thank you for your effort. Not the asshole. P. S. I am a mother to a very active toddler, with another baby on the way. I do not hate children, or am child-free in any way. Not the asshole. They made plans without so much as even asking you. Not the asshole. My brother and sister-in-law try this shit with my wife and I fuik that, they're your crotch monkeys so you take care of them. I take care of my kid and we all have fun, so nut up and take care of your own damn kids. Kids didn't ask for this but parents made the decision to make the baby. Not the asshole. They didn't even have the audacity to ask you like, hey can you watch the kids? I think you handled it the best you could. They clearly didn't care what you thought. I've been in a similar situation as you at family ever talk. Since I'm the youngest of the grandchildren, I often am stuck with the great-grandchildren while the adults catch up. I wouldn't mind for a little bit when it first started, since I generally do like kids and it was only a three and a four year old but as it went on it got so draining, so quick. Now at family events, I have seven kids gathering around me, yelling and playing and it's so exhausting. Luckily their parents are pretty good and the older two are decently responsible but I sympathize friend. Not the asshole. If your parents are on your side they should have put a stop to this years ago. Not the asshole. They decided to have the kids then those kids are their problem. Not the asshole the fact they never asked your male cousins the same, or even to assist you as sexist as hell and shows the only reason they asked you is because you're a girl. Also people who don't want to parent their own kids shouldn't have kids, if they didn't want to take care of their first they shouldn't have had the other three. You're still a kid yourself at 17 and it sounds like you haven't had chance to engage in your teen years because of them. 100% not the asshole and go live your best damn life. Definitely not the asshole. You could tell them fine, but you'll have to charge them $20 per child per hour, max of 8 hours, payment due up front. And after 8 hours your rate is $1 per child per minute, due at pickup. They provide all the kids food, clean clothing, and pay for any entertainment expenses. If they complain because a family, tell them that is your family rate. And if they don't like it, they can enjoy the kids themselves. They'd be very unlikely to agree. But if they did, at least you'd make some money. Not the asshole. If they try it again tell them you have plans and will not be there, then leave. It is not your job to watch the kids. The trick is to get so bad at something that no one dares trust you with responsibility ever again. Next time, bring permanent markers that the kids accidentally find and let them go nuts. And shave all their heads. I thought she'd look cute bald. Not the asshole. If they want you to work on your vacation, you need to learn four words. F you, pay me. They need to pay you if they want childcare. At adult childcare rates, not their cousin rates. Cash up front so they can't stiff you. Not the asshole. If the presence of their kids is impeding what they want to do, then that's their issue for having kids. Not yours. You've fitted in with them for a lot of years. I would have reached breaking point a lot earlier. Be polite. 
Stand firm and say, I'm not here as a glorified babysitter. I'm here as a family member. It would be okay if it were once in a while and if the other older cousins took their turn but it's not like that and you have all been taking advantage of me. It is your responsibility to make plans that include your kids or book holidays that include childcare. Not the asshole what did your parents think you were going to eat, and with what money? They may be on your side for the argument, but they haven't had your back in this. Vacation au pair is a paid gig that is supposed to comes with a contract, pocket money, regular hours, and regular meals. They got over and above for free for the last four years, and it's about time they take responsibility for their own spawn. Not the asshole. Sitting on the beach alone with a book sounds very nice. I am significant other proud of you. Honest to God, you're amazing for your age. I would have never stood up for myself at that age with my family. Not the asshole. Not the asshole curious if they have ever attempted to pay up for babysitting. Info. Why aren't your parents speaking up for you? If they agree with your actions, where have they been during this? Luckily you can stand on your own. However you shouldn't have to. Not the asshole you did not sign up for sitting them. They just like to throw their responsibility on your shoulders. Just start bailing on them every time they try to pull this again. I made plans with friends. I have to go to X to do some homework, whatever hits your fancy. It's not your responsibility. It never was and you should not have to endure it any further than you have already. Not. The. Asshole. You do not go on family holidays or get-togethers to be the unpaid nanny. Ask your parents to please get your family to stop using you. I say this as a mother of four. They are not your responsibility. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. If you can, before any event make it abundantly clear to as many people as possible that you have not volunteered to babysit and that someone else will have to. Not the asshole. They're entitled a-holes, taking advantage of a child. It might be different if they asked you, maybe offered some type of compensation such as money. It's also different if you ever volunteered for it. I never see that. If it's once or twice that's an exception to the rule. If it's every time then you're free labor that they, re-abusing. FK those people. Why can, T1 person of their whole group for dinner watch the kids and the rest go to dinner? Makes zero sense. They want your sacrifice, but not their own. Not the asshole. If you had waited until after the trip, there would have been no real consequences for these assholes, and they would have kept doing the same thing. Been there myself. Not the asshole reading this makes my blood boil. There are so many things wrong with this situation that I don't even know where to begin. 1. No one asked you to watch the kids, but expected it of you because, I guess, you're female. 2. You're part of the family too despite the fact that your aunts treat you like a nanny at every family gathering. 3. You aren't being paid but are required to parent according to that bullshit, you can't say no, policy. With that kind of parenting, your cousins are going to turn out even more entitled than your aunts. 4. The timing wasn't ideal for your aunts? Oh well. If they really wanted to go out to dinner maybe they should have made and confirmed plans for their children's care while they were out. Not the asshole good for you for standing up. 